Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our morning inspiration. Friday, July 26, 2024. Our reading today comes to us from Proverbs chapter 15, reading verse 1. And it says, A soft answer turneth away wrath, but grievous words stir up anger. Amen. We give God thanks this morning for his words and it is very important for us to understand this principle because we live in a world where it seems to be such an aggressive place everyone seems to be angry no one wants to take the eye road no one wants to be the one to look like a wimp so if someone offends us, if someone says something that burns us, then we have to respond in kind and we have to say something even worse to burn them. But if we should take another direction, if we should show mercy, if we should show compassion, what a difference that would be. And so the reading this morning is reminding us that aggression is not attractive and especially as a child of God these things must not be numbered among us the Bible says a soft answer come on a soft answer turn away wrath but grievous words it only makes the situation worse so if someone says something to us that offends us yes it hurts and sometimes it takes us off guard but we should remember that as the bible says as best as possible we should live peaceable with all men so in other words you don't have to respond in a very unkind way to the person you can state your claim and do it in a very respectable and in a very you know responsible way because no one is saying that if somebody disrespect you you must not correct them or you must not reprove them or whatever but the manner in which we go about doing all of this, that is what is important here. And of course, sometimes you can just choose to walk away. And I know me saying that is like me telling you a bad word. Because a lot of us feel that, okay then, we need to attack every situation that is presented before us. No, who told you that? Sometimes you can choose to walk away. And you walking away doesn't mean that you are weak. Doesn't mean that you can't stand up for yourself or anything like that. That's what the world would want you to believe. And that's the, what the enemy would want you to believe. But that shows strength. It shows strength. Because think about it. Whatever someone does to you, you can do it too to them. And even worse. But when you have decided that, look here, I am not going to respond that way. I am going to either walk away or I respond to them in a very kind way. That takes a lot of strength. That's not weakness. That's courage. Right? And I always use this illustration. When you think about a fire engine, right? They are responsible for, you know, taking care of fires in in buildings and all of that and we're here now think about a structure on fire and the fire engine is called when they are coming to out that fire do they bring a truck of fire in the hose or do they connect the hose to some kind of fire system to spray more fire on the structure what you think would happen to that structure it will burn down even faster but they bring something opposite to what is actually happening. So there's a fire, they bring a cooler. Whether it is water, foam, whatever it is, 
that can hold the fire that is what they will use and primarily they use water and in the same way this passage of verse is basically saying that in situations that these that we find ourselves we need to use a coolant don't be aggressive because aggressiveness will only breed more aggression but when you use something opposite to the aggression when you use calm approach when you use a humble approach then that would be more effective than you think and so let us understand that when we are standing as light bearers then we need to allow our light to shine we are not representing ourselves we are representing god and heaven and so whatever we do or say it will reflect it won't change who god is but it would be an embarrassing moment for us to claim that we are representing this man who is of kind and loving character but yet still we are not acting as such and so this morning i encourage all of us that we would learn to be humble in our approach when we are dealing with others and do not behave in a unbecoming manner use your heart and let the holy spirit work out the fine details for you so i encourage you that today that you will put this verse in practice if something arise whether it is in your workplace school home wherever you are use a soft answer to deal with the situation and if need be just walk away it won't mean you're weak it just mean you are wise may god continue to bless us and may god continue to keep us as we seek to walk in his way amen mm-hmm.